Hello YouTube, this is Bronco doing a racetrack review on a brand, brand new racetrack made by MLG Savior, and this track was released earlier today, and I know he said he's going to be done forging for a while, but I guess eight days is long enough for him, so he decided he wanted to make another track, and this is, as you saw before, this track is called Aftershock, and I'm not really sure why he named it, but when you see this track, you'll be shocked. Um, this track is extremely smooth. I mean, I haven't found any tapering on it yet, and I just I just love the layout of it, how you kind of circle around this lighthouse over here. Um, one thing, though, it does end in a teleporter, but he did fix the teleporter, one, so it never fails, and two, so it kind of has, like, a theme to it. Like, you go through the door of the lighthouse, and then you teleport back to the start, so it does kind of have a does kind of have a theme in it. It's not just a teleport at the end of the track, so I do like how he incorporated that. Um, how he incorporated the teleporter into the aesthetics of it, which, you know, makes it a lot more acceptable, I guess you could say. And I forgot to mention this, but Canucks Legend is doing a dual commentary with me. Hello, Canucks Legend. Hey, guys. How are we doing? So what's your what do you, what's your opinion on this track? Thoughts? Well, I'm uh, glad MLG Savior did not uh, stick to what he was saying about him stopping forging. I'm glad he continued to forge. Um, but track... It, but it is very difficult. Um, it, well, not very difficult, but it is difficult like most of his tracks are. And um, like, as you can probably see, the track is banked to the outside, which really bugs me. Um, Inverted banking. But it's his style of uh, forging when he makes roller coasters, and that's what makes And I, uh, I really like it. Um, it does it in the teleporter, like you said, but I I like that he, uh, he had a theme to it, so... I like this track a lot. It's uh, not one of my favorites, but it's fun. Going back, yeah, going back to the inverted banking that he was mentioning, this track does have a lot of inverted banking, and over here is really the extreme of it. I mean, this is this is probably the most banked inverted there is, but you know, it it is rather difficult to get around it, especially because of the the uh, effect on the track. I mean, it does make it hard to see in some check in some sections. Like, when the track kind of loops underneath it, it gets hard to see. I mean, I guess it kind of creates a shadow, even though there's no, there's not really any shadows in Forge World. But, I mean, you can understand what I mean. Like, in some sections of the track is darker than the other. And I don't really like how he ended it the way he did with these two really small U-turns. But uh, when I was talking to him before, he said that was the only way he could get it back to the start or back to the lighthouse um, door. So, I mean, get, it is acceptable because I don't... From experience, when you run out of money and objects to build with it, you really just get cramped and pressured to to oh, really – what? I know where you're going with this. Go ahead. You, you just really get pressured into building, you know, trying to finish it. I mean, me and Canucks said we just built a track recently, and we were about a three-fourths of the way down, and we ran out of money, and it was, it was just hard to – hard to – you kind of just like find random things to delete. I mean, because everything really has a purpose in the map, and you know, you, you, know, you hate to delete stuff because. Yeah. I think it was because I mean, that building got. Well, since his mic cut out, I'll finish before him. But um, one thing about this track, it does have circle checkpoints. And circle checkpoints somewhat annoy me, and I asked him if he'd fix it today, but he decided not to. But it's not it's not extremely crucial. I just I personally prefer square checkpoints, but I guess it's really up to the creator if he likes them better. And personally, I like square checkpoints or box checkpoints better, but it does it doesn't really take that much away from the map. Uh, another thing about the track, as I know I said before, the aesthetics, but I also like the waterfall in here, and he also has the stilts on the track, and I just missed the checkpoint. I like the stilts on the track. I mean, it just gives it the nice effect that it's not just like some random piece of, some random, uh, I don't even know how to describe it, some random ribbon floating around in the air. I mean, it does. It actually makes it look like it's it belongs to something other than just like a ribbon, I guess. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Please download this map. It's a really cool map. Uh, see the description for the download link, and remember to comment, rate, and like, subscribe. Rate. Thanks. Yeah, comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks.